Okay, I have finished all the challenge levels from World 5. And I was told by the devs that they wanted the challenge levels to be more different from the first four levels challenge levels, so you couldn't just copy and paste solutions. So naturally, I copy and pasted my solution. Um, the challenge on this level is the vehicle's order is reversed, so the roads start here and we have a larger counterweight because now they have to go up slowly instead of starting here with a smaller counterweight and moving down slowly. Also, our mechanical locks had to be longer because we don't get to flip over onto the ground and stabilize there. So what our mechanical lock is going to do is when they come together, you're going to see them flip down and get caught on the ground right here. Aside from that, it's the same as my non-challenge solution. A bit more expensive because mechanical locks had to be longer, counterweights had to be longer. That's about it. watch the weights they go up and then boop and they lock right there if they don't hit the ground they'll actually just spin to the other side 180 and be able to unlock so I had to make them longer that's the first level falling into place and the leaderboards aren't working for all the levels but for the ones where it are we can look at them truck way in the challenge larger gap so there's, what, like two or three roads of extra distance here that wasn't in the non-challenge level, so we got to make a longer bridge. I had to save some budget on this one. So on the right side, I've got this totally different mechanism where there's just this little spring here that's going to hit the wall, and essentially this is going to drop perfectly into place for these two to overlap, and then during the hydraulic phase they'll connect. Other than that, it's just a regular drawbridge, so these two lap or not drawbridge but you know layered leveled something put a little bump down here the reason why it's not a nice curve or straight line is because the plow of this dude just hits that corner and breaks everything so we have to make it a little curve for him and then they'll make it up this thing The budget is definitely strict on this one, though. You can do it, dump truck. I believe. There he goes. Yeah, first place is only 42,000. Obviously, it's only been out a few days, but normally you expect to see... I guess better scores. Trading places. Challenge sports cars are slower. So if you remember my non-challenge solution, we just had all these huge jumps where this guy like did a jump here, and this guy did a jump here, and then on the way back, this guy did a jump that got him up above, and this dude get it did a jump that got him down below. So since they're moving slow, our jumps have to be you know, this distance is our jump. <laughs> this distance is our jump, and everything's a bit more particular. So first, this guy goes straight across. Then this guy has to go straight across. We get a little landing pad for him here so he didn't flip over. Then this guy has to make it up, and this guy has to make it down. Just making it up. We have this tiny jump, which is just barely... <laughs> Just barely he makes it. If it was a bit longer, he'd get caught there. Goes through that trap door. Always use the tiny spring so it doesn't break on the way down. And then this one, he can just push it out of the way. Just gets that front in there and wedges it open. Not too tough. Acceleration challenge. Added centered static joint and a checkpoint to Dune Buggy A1. So... Previously, this level was just, this car has a checkpoint here, the second car has a checkpoint here, the third car has a checkpoint here, and these weren't here. Now what they've made it is this car has to get to this and to this, but they've added some static joints. So I just built a giant super loop so they all hit all four checkpoints and it goes do 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 
and then shoots out here, and this is a road. Because this one has to end up top and they have to end down below. So, you know, we just have a dumb road there. Because we couldn't afford shit else. That's, you know... Let's see it all in 100% speed. <laughs> the loop looks good. And someone at 37,000. That's not too surprising. I sort of went for the most expensive strategy of actual full loop. Sorting. Challenge. Added a plane. There's a plane here. Now, the thing is, hydraulics actually go before the plane. So it's okay to build here, as long as you move it all out of the way. But if you remember my non-challenge solution, I just made a giant tower right in the center. And this plane totally wrecks that solution. So we've got this one where there's a bridge on top, another bridge down below, and we're going to have this guy go, and everything will move down, and the plane goes, and then this guy goes, and everything moves up, and then we'll open these little hatches so this guy can go through underneath both of them, and then they just need to make it back. So this dude goes. Our hydraulic's a bit tough to see because it's at the water's edge, but it's right there. Moves him down. There's the plane. And the limo. We actually had to do a lot of extra reinforcing to make this not break. You can see we've got the extra tension bit here. Pushing on the center. There goes blue car. Yeah, we had to reinforce those because blue car was breaking them on the way down. Because he does a, a bit of a thump. And then the limo goes. And then the taxi. I like these hydraulic levels. Brake pad, challenge, stopping area is sloped. So we have a similar bridge to what I'd built before, but the stopping area is sloped. So uh, I tried making just a similar, like, you know, reinforced road here, some ropes holding it, some springs like that. It's pretty tough to get this dude once he's, like, going fast on the downhill. So one change I made was rather than have the road go from here straight to here, we have the road angled from here angled to this joint so he doesn't like whack the ground and jump off this ledge but our mechanism to get him to go from the stop sign back to the flag is a leash I just have a leash because <laughs> there's this nice little empty spot in the truck so we put a road in there a bunch of springs connected to it and easy <laughs> I was actually first place when I made this also, but someone's beaten me, unsurprisingly. Passing by, added a city car. So previously this bridge, we have the same catapult, where it's just A has to get in here first. And previously it was just a bridge for this guy to go from here to here. The challenge is this dude, after this guy arrives, this guy has to go from here down to underneath this bridge so we've got this whole thing supported by springs which is how this guy's going to get on the bridge and then when this guy's going the springs will have it up and out of the way so he can get under it over to this one goal that's a quite a thud We ended up not really needing any catching mechanism for this car. It does come close to braking, but it doesn't. And then he makes it in there. Someone did that for cheap. Bus routes. So my whole chat was telling me 
oh, this level's BS. You're going to hate it. You should just look in the gallery. I didn't do any of that crap. But apparently, the solution that everyone's doing is use springs to push this guy off this edge. So essentially, what has to happen is first A goes diagonally up to here. Then you get hydraulics. Then C goes diagonally down to here, down one level, then hydraulics, then A has to go diagonally up to here, while this guy goes diagonally down to here. So they're sort of in each other's way. So what everyone's done is they push this dude off the cliff, so instead of going diagonally down from here to here, he just goes straight fucking across while this guy goes up. And I said, you know, just do it my way. This guy goes up. They're really fast. Hydraulics. So this dude can make it in. Then hydraulics again. And this guy's just gonna go way over the top of him. This dude's also going super fast. That's, that looks dangerous with all these buses. And the last one is this guy has to make it here also. So we just gotta move that out of the way. And yes, the budget was a bit tough on this one. Just a bit tough. But we managed. Springboard, challenge, checkpoint, and flag are higher. So this is the level where my non-challenge solution was like a giant spring-loaded arm all the way around. That just sort of like flung him up. Uh, it's a bit too expensive, so I just made the catapult. So once he gets there, hydraulics go, which release the slingshot. Whee! And an easy landing. Together now, challenge, platforms are sloped. So this is the one where I just made three of the same crane, because in the non-challenge version, they're all at the same height. In the challenge version, they're all sloped. So basically, we have the same mechanism here, where this hydraulic's going to push this over. And this arm raises up to here, and connects to the next arm, which is a smaller triangle, and connects to the next arm, which is a smaller triangle. And we only had to do, like, really tiny little tweaking after putting this all together. And yep, works pretty similar to the first one. It's a bit tough to see the platforms underneath all the other stuff, but yep. And a lot of this actually did have to be steel diamonds. It's, uh, it's a lot of stress on this one. But we managed. Getting loopy. Challenge. Change checkpoint positions. Well, they also added a checkpoint. So in the original, there was this checkpoint, and then this one was actually like a little higher, I think. But they've added this A3. Let me delete this so we can see it. They've added this A3. You don't have to get them in any particular order. So I've opted to put a bridge here and just collect this A3, and then have a loop that sends us back and we go woo and get all of these and then go back up. So pretty much it's this getting A3 and then something similar to my non-challenge solution for the other two. But I did have to rebuild it since A2 is in a different spot. Those G-forces would totally not kill you. Totally not. Crash course. A1 flag move below platform. So this is the one where, in the non-challenge version, all three of them go at the same time as hydraulics. I didn't bother with hydraulics because I still hate when it's cars and hydraulics going at the same time where A1 had to end up up here, and then A2 and A3 have to end up here with A3 making it first. Now A1 has to end up on this bottom platform. So what I've done is I've got this huge thing with springs, so it'll be pushed out of the way of A1, and then this big seesaw 
And, uh, it was kind of a surprise ending to this one. Kind of. Oh, and I put this thing to slow down this dude. Guess we need lots of steel for this to not break. Oh no, he's stuck. What's gonna happen? <laughs> and he finishes like this. Just, you know, normal bus behavior. Alright, four more levels? Only 99.9% .9 stress. Spring and a miss. Challenge swapped vans and city cars. So apparently blue car is called city car. It's called blue car. The devs are wrong. So this is the level that was blue car, blue car, van, blue car. And you get two blue cars up here, and then the van has to weigh this thing down. And they've swapped them. Well, all I've done is just made it so blue car is heavier than the vans by putting a big weight on him. So... Pretty much the exact same solution. Uh, we had to make the springs a bit stronger, because of course the vans have to now not push it down too far. And then this dude just has a big weight on his head. And he's going, and he's going. We thud. And just like the, the previous one, uh, now it's this spring, actually, that's really holding it down. These two are just not generating too much force, aside from, you know, pushing against themselves. Uh, I was sprung in a mess. Leaderboards are screwed. In suspense. Challenge. Shorter pillars. So if you watched my non-challenge version, I was saying... So the, the challenge mode, there used to be three pillars here with the static joint all the way up. I was saying, just use the top static joint, it's the good one. So of course the challenge version is those top two don't exist. So we made a tension bridge. This is triple layered cable from here to here. And then the rest is this nice tension bridge. And we did have to shave some budget on this. There's the doggo. I think the big budget that we shaved was we had wood here that we got rid of. And we had all of these as reinforced roads before we'd made this second layer. After the second layer, we didn't need most of the reinforced roads. Yep. Leaderboard's still hacked. Uh, this one's pretty tough, though. This one was... I don't think it was as tough as the, uh, what, 4 dash whatever one, the big bus, but, uh, this one was tough. Double duty, challenge, added Vespa. So this was the one where I'm, you have one hydraulic and you need it to make it so that when this guy goes here, and this guy goes here, then the hydraulic goes, that you lift this dude up and lift your bridge out of the way of this thing. Well, now you have this Vespa that has to go out here and then make it to this flag. So the way I solved that was, uh, rather than detaching the whole bridge, just detach the one side. So when the hydraulic goes down, it just, like, slants down like this. But I had to make these weird catching mechanisms because obviously I built parallel movement into my bridge and then I need it to not move in a parallel fashion. So you're gonna see these connect here and these diamonds are what are making the parallel movement happen. So they're actually gonna let go. After this dude gets here, the diamonds are just gonna stay up there and the rest of the bridge is gonna rotate out of the way. So this dude can go down. And the bridge goes back up and grabs its diamonds so it can do parallel movement again. Got him. And goes back down.
And one last movement. And no leaderboards, rip. And the last one. So the devs actually patched this, like, yesterday. They changed the plane so that this part of the propeller is now part of its hitbox. Basically, they gave the plane a ball sack because they didn't like how people were cheesing it. Well, I cheesed it anyways by just squeezing some road in, in there. So, yep. <laughs> we just added a propeller-shaped hole to our plane-shaped hole. Alright, uh, speeding it up. And there's a second plane is the challenge, but, you know, none of that matters. There could be 50 planes at any time, and, you know, they just miss. And no leaderboards. Rip. Hey, well, that was World 5, all the challenge levels. I'm not sure when I'll get to World 6. There is World 6. I've done some of it, as you can see, but a lot of these levels are... A real pain. But that'll be out eventually. I'm also probably gonna do World 5, no hydraulic, and the challenge levels, no hydraulic. That'll all be out eventually. I'm not gonna be going as fast as normal, because uh, these levels are a bit of a pain sometimes, if I'm being honest. So, there will be more poly bridge, but it, it won't be like, it won't be just every single day, because I'm not gonna be playing it as often. Anyways, yeah.